You know, I've I've been I've been aware of this since I was a child. My father's a high ranking government official and he, he let me know what was going on from an early age. And you know, I, I've been listening to you for about ten years, Alex. I got I gotta say something. Is that when these bastards threatened my father because he didn't want to cut forty thousand people's social security benefits for mental health and create panic in the island of Maui. You know, these bastards, the FBI, who's right above him on his building, started sending him rocks in the mail, coming by his office saying, oh, did you receive anything weird? You know, generally just threatening him. You know, I knew the jig was up. I knew I knew they wanted to just kill and maim and threaten everybody who wasn't going to go along with this plan. And... I mean, I think I think about how many of my friends have literally gone crazy from from trying to understand the truth. It's it's gang government. It's it's global government, and and it's coming to a head. It's designed to enslave. It's designed to rob. And how how do you stop it? it it's the death of honor, is what it is. Well, I mean, long live the Draco Slayer. Long live those that would fight lies. Alex, these people hate us. They they have no regard for human safety. They have no regard for dignity. And I, and I have something to say to everybody who's living in Hawaii. These bastards with Monsanto are turning it into a global... They're, they're turning it into a fucking disease-ridden... All right, I got I to gotta let you go, because when people start start cussing, we got to cut you off. If you want to be cut off the air, use profanity, you'll be cut off immediately. That's kind of like, hang, instead of just hang up, because that's that's what you're doing. I appreciate your call. Uh, let's go to Nick in California. Nick, you're on the air. Go ahead. Alex? Go ahead. Hi, Alex. I'm, I'm, I'm calling because I... I Okay, go ahead. And um, a couple of days ago, um, all our communications were shut down in the entire county, and it, it was like 911 services for the entire county were down. You had to go walk to the police station if you needed police. And it well, was that's a whole other story, how we're dependent on satellites, cell phones, just-in-time delivery. Uh, this civilization is very precarious. Yeah, so they blamed it on vandalism of a fiber optic line. And the cell phone towers were completely turned, they were down. Uh, satellite television signals were turned, were, were disabled. And so what do you think happened? So I'm just thinking this is a part of the whole Jade Helm thing, is my point. Well, they did have drills in California. This is in mainstream news, the military taking over your town. So I don't know. I mean, there's normal outages of things. There's all sorts of technological problems, but... Uh, that's certainly uh, part of it. There was a satellite that was launched, a military satellite, too, that was launched out of Florida like a day before this happened. Well, who knows what's really going on? I know we're totally dependent on the so-called smart grid. It's really a giant surveillance grid. God bless you. Good to hear from you, Nick. We'll look into it. Alamo Joe in FEMA Region 9. I guess that's in the Pacific Northwest, a former state now under FEMA control. Alamo Joe, go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Alex. Um, a couple of weeks ago, you asked a question um, about why globalists laugh when carrying out their evil deeds. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to share it from a Christian's point of view. Um, that's because we were created, Alex, to glorify God alone. Yes. And these globalists are demon-infested. Um, they are low lowlifes, and they glorify Satan instead of our Lord. And um, everyone, whether they know it or not, has to serve a God. You and me serve the Lord Jesus. Um, some that do serve him, serve him with all that's in them. Those Christians are usually called on fire. Those on fire Christians have a counterpart. Satan has his own on fire church known as the Spirit of Antichrist, or better known as the New World Order. If those people, those same people, don't believe in God, they don't believe in his commandments, um, they will worship 
in other words, their own man, the man God, uh, the man of their intellect of humanism. The man of, 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 of narcissism of the power trip. Correct. Once they do that, they throw all, all of man's moral laws that God gave us, they just throw them out the door. And once that's done... Uh, but notice not while they say there's no law, they send don't use boy or girl, father or mother, give us all your money. It's like, there's no rules, but we got all these rules for you. They're flaming totalitarians. They don't bring liberty, they bring enslavement. God is liberal. God gives you freedom. God gives you free will. These people are enslavers. They're just pathetic scum. They want to conquer us. That's what makes me sick. Me too, Alex. Um, I can't stand that term about uh, purple penguins. I mean, I don't yeah, know. You can't say it. father, mother, you're a purple penguin, boy or girl. It's happening all over the country. When you sit there and go, I won't say I'm a boy or girl. You're right. You're the government. You're just some sack of crap telling me this. I mean, it's just, it's a cult. Will we drink the Kool-Aid because we're ordered to? God bless you. I appreciate your call. Good points. John in Tennessee, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, how are you? I just, it's, I'm living in the twilight zone, brother. Hey, you know, Walt Whitman, let me hear your barbaric yell. Woo! <laughs> You've had some moonshine tonight, brother. Man, listen, uh, listen. I need to call in every day because you have got me. I've been listening to you for three or four years, and I give you mega dittos. I'm not going to thank you because you're not doing anything that I'm not doing. Exactly. But it's that, yeah, it's that power. It's that power. Well, it's, the, ref have, it's the refusal to lay out and die to tyranny. They tell us, don't have kids, no mother or father. It's just die. It's like aliens invaded. Die. Mama and daddy don't exist. We're liberal. Yeah, liberal. Don't have babies. Take the shot. We love you. It's like, no, you want to kill me, you flaming bastard. I mean, you know, it just comes down to that. It's like an alien invasion. I don't know what it is, but it might as well be. We'll be back. Thank you. God bless you. Corey, Doug, and Dominique, and Amy, and Sam, and Mike, and many others. We'll be back after the news, straight ahead, Infowars.com. We're going right back to your phone calls, but here is the final bottom line. The globalists are social engineers. They've written white papers, books. We've made films about it. We've covered it. They have a disdain for humanity. They don't believe in us. They think they're gods, even though they live off of us. And I'm here to tell you, they think their greatest reign is here. Their fall is here. Let's go to Sam in Alberta, Canada, then Amy, Mike, Corey, Doug, Avalitz, if I pronounced that right, Dominique, and others. Uh, go ahead, Sam, you're on the air from Canada. Yes, hi, Alex. Welcome. Uh, it's a pleasure to talk to you. I've been listening for you for like six years, and this is my first time calling, and I'm really, really, really happy. Well, welcome. I'm flattered to have you here. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say something about your products. They helped me a lot. They were great. Um, and I've been telling everyone about them. It's just amazing how they work. Uh, you know, the first year I was listening to you, I um, I was surprised with all the information that you had. I continued listening to you, and then I started noticing a pattern that the globals follow. It's just almost like a script. And I needed you in the beginning to help me decode the script. That's right. But once you Stop. see it, you know, it, it's clear as day. Exactly. And when I tell people about it, they don't, they don't believe anything that is going on. And in reality, it's uh, happening everywhere. If it was GMOs, fluoride, you know, all these things, you, you can't avoid them. But the holy grail for the globalists? is uh, geoengineering. You cannot run away from the air. It is. It's, it's changing the Earth's atmosphere. It's changing the environment, changing the plants, changing the seeds, genetically changing things where they control the keys to creation. Then you're dominated by them. This is the ultimate revolution against humanity. Exactly. And they are, uh, they're, they're almost like not human. They are like uh, some kind of 
alien from No, they've world. decided. If you read, you can just type in elite believe they're a new species. You'll get London Telegraph, Associated Press. They believe they're a breakaway species. They believe they're aliens here creating a merger with machines, with AI. So we're yesterday. We're the buggy whip. We're the horse-drawn carriage. And all I'm saying is, hey, I might want to merge with machines. I might want to. I'm not against progress. Just you're not going to govern it while keeping us in the dark, distracting us with Dancing with the Stars and American Idol. And I just want the public to realize the world's moving on. The real world's happening. You're in a science fiction movie. These people admit it, and they've got us debating over mother and father needs to be banned. I mean, these are flaming, crook, anti-human scum. They shouldn't be wiping our butts, much less governing the planet. Yes, and they think that uh, people lining up for to get their new iPhone, that's technology. That's no, that's 50-year-old so crap. Exactly. The, tr the true technologies, they have it. The true technologies are mind and our genetics that every scientist that's in genetic engineering understands isn't even of this world. We're made in the image of the creator that made this planet. We predate this planet. The elite all know that. They're just, they're dumbing the public down to not get it. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not like seeking after the elves. We are the elves. And they know that, and they can't stand it. They want to keep you from that knowledge. They're aware of what we are. They want to play God while we run around watching NFL. That's what the joke is. Yes. I don't have any favorite idol. Uh, my idol is myself, to tell you the truth. I am the Well, my idol myself. is human ingenuity and going to the stars and, and, and fulfilling God's destiny. And that's what we need to show our children and uh, try and uh, reach as many as people sure. as we can. Um, I agree with you. God bless you. I got to jump. But this is not an elite that would put stuff in vaccines to lower our IQ and put fluoride in the water to lower our IQ. An elite doesn't seek to dumb people down. Let, let's say the elite are some alien species. I'm not saying that, but let's just hypothetically. What type of elite alien species wants to dumb down a planet? and make people a bunch of retarded idiots. I mean, you know, you know what? You're not my God. A real God wants to build me up and give me Promethean fire, not control me. No, no, no. You are not God. You are fallen, degenerate scum standing in the way of the true creation that dominates you. They hate humanity. They hate honor. They hate beauty. They hate creativity because we are their God. You understand that? The elite cannot stand true humanity. They will go to hell before they capture anything. They're a joke. They're only there to provide us with the stress to make us go to the next level. Just, just get that straight through your heads. Okay, that they are fallen, they are failed, they are scum. So let them play their games, let them win for the season. We win for eternity. Praise Jesus Christ. I don't mean to be getting so hardcore today, but I prayed last night at like 10 o'clock at night. I said, God, just let me tell the truth. I am tired of backing down to these people. I'm tired of watching them have their way with humanity. Just turn me loose and turn humanity loose. Amy in Tennessee, you're on the air. Uh, hi, Alex. <laughs> Sorry. You are so passionate, and I am such a passionate person, and I am one of those Christians that are on fire for God, so my giggles my giggles are coming because you, you are awesome, and God bless you. No, you're a sweetheart, ma'am. I'm nobody. I'm just children. a man. Of, go ahead. I, pr I understand that. I pray for you, your safety, the safety of your family, and you just keep doing what you do, and if you got to scream and yell, you scream and yell, and if you got to stand up and jump up and down, then you stand up and jump up and down. You just keep doing what you do. I'm just trying to get folks out of the trance. Oh, I understand. And it, honestly, if it wasn't for you, you know, I, I have had a wonderful, wonderful idea of the Word of God and His plan for us in the end times. I get that. But I did not and was not drawn into the full focus of the enemy's plan until I come upon you a couple of years ago. And I thank you so much for opening my eyes to this because it helps me to understand where my family and myself and the rest of the whole entire globe is headed these coming days. As for the Pope, people will criticize you just as they do me. You have nothing against the Catholic people nor the church itself, okay, except for, no, the gentleman who was talking about the blood red moons, the gentleman who was speaking of, it's almost like a script. No, it is a script. 
It is a script. And just as, you know, God has a role for his people, well, I'm sorry, the enemy has a role as well, you know. I mean, we're not in this alone. And we can't just lay down. We have to fight. You know, Christians and people who believe that they, they deserve, you know, 